Eva. What's going on, Ricky? Good morning. Good morning. So I have a great addition today for Eva's Corner, but, you know, I just came across this on Instagram. I thought it was kind of funny. I wanted to share with you guys. Come on. Okay, so... A lot of people attribute their actions and behaviors and dispositions to their zodiac signs, right. right? And so I saw a girlfriend of mine put something up on Instagram that said, zodiacs that click well with each other. So I just want to know if you guys agree really fast. I say Aries, um, Aries and Sagittarius click really well with each other. Agree. Okay. Taurus and Virgo click really well with each other. Okay. Gemini and Libra click really well. Mm. This is really good. Cancer and Scorpio, and I'm a Scorpio, and I agree with that. Cancer and Scorpios, we click like nobody's business. Wow. Virgo and Capricorn click really well. Okay. Aquarius and Pisces also click really well, and they say Leo and a nobody. Why do I like the Leos? <laughs> You gonna do it? You gonna do me like that, bro? As we approach Leo season to all my single, sexy. Oh, Brett, please! It ain't, it ain't, it ain't there. that damn. Nobody. Nobody. Who click with the Leo? Nobody. Who make love to Leo? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody baby. <laughs> playing with y'all, but no, on a serious note, for Eva's Corner this week, I wanted to talk about um, parents that are single parents, okay. and then they decide, and they have custody of their children, the children are basically with them 100% of the time. So at what point, as a parent, as a sole parent, do you allow for your significant other to become a parent to your child? So, I remember when I first had uh, Marley, and Mike was introduced into her life, and um, and not to get a little bit emotional, but it's it's a real situation. I remember her understanding or learning the concept of what dad was and trying to figure out what that meant for her. She okay. knew who mom was. She knew who she was, but she was trying to understand, like, so what is this dad thing? And I remember crying to Mike all the time, you know, feeling like, what am I going to do with my little girl who wants to know what a dad is and trying to understand what that means to her? Right. And fortunately, we ended up becoming a uh, husband and wife and he is her father. But, you know, at what point as a mom or even a single dad that has, you know, a son or a daughter mm -hmm. that, you know, you, your kid starts looking for that other parent. Well, like, uh, at what point do you start to step up to the plate, Rick? It, it, it's not a, a time thing. Once the mother feels comfortable mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, and not that the child is like introduced like uh, Marley, here's Mike. Right. You know, sometimes like, hey, y'all show up. We meet up somewhere. You know, we all having fun together. And uh, hey, this is Mr. You know, Mrs. Mike or whatever. I had my I, I, when I got my daughters, they were two. OK, they were two years old. D was two and Aaron was uh, one and a half, two. Or whatever. So I had them pretty much their whole life. And, uh, you know, once the chemistry developed or whatever, you know, and it's like even, uh, well, I ain't going to make it about that, but even when a relationship ends yeah. or whatever, I never went to, I never went to pick up my son and did not pick up his sister. D, yeah. who's my daughter. You just don't, you just don't do that. Yeah. It, ain't, it ain't cool. It's not good. That means that you didn't love her to begin with, that your love was fake. Or, or whatever, and and you don't do that to a child. It's better that child look at you and think that that you are, uh, see you in a uh, the light parental image. light. Absolutely, and uh, just whenever the mother feels comfortable, if you feel like it's a good guy, if you even if you feel like it's a good guy, if the relationship don't work out, right. that he's still gonna stick around that and be there for so the kid. Important. And that's a conversation to have. Say, hey, let me ask you a question. Because I know sometimes relationships don't work out. Because one thing we don't do, we always operate off of feeling good. We never get a clear mm -hmm. understanding. Before I introduce you to my son and my daughter, let me ask you. If something happens and the relationship don't work out, are you still willing to be a part of my son or daughter's life? Because because once we start this or whatever... I don't, I, I don't, I can go through it, but they can't go through it. Right. They already don't have a dad. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So at, tell me this one, Rick. Mm -hmm. At what point do you discipline your significant other's child? So I have a brother, and my brother has a girl, and they have a child together, but she had a child before 
their child together. Right. And it's a little boy. The little boy bad. Let's just call a spade a spade. This yeah. little boy is bad, and he needs some discipline. But my brother doesn't feel like it is his place to discipline this it's little boy. It's his place to di- di- discipline the child if the child is in the house. So what you going to do, just let the child, because that child, that child that's two or three years old is going to be 13 and Nine, 16 one man, day. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying, he's going to be 13, 16, 17, 18. So if you don't get that child under control and get some discipline and structure now or whatever, it's going to be a problem when he turns 17, 18. You're going to be able to get him to do nothing. So you ain't, you ain't got to kick no kid's ass necessarily, but there are some good discipline methods and you can train a child you know Mm because he's in your house that's your child if that child eat one bowl of cereal he's yours yeah one bowl of cereal up under my roof you mine you belong to me you know i got nieces and nephews all that kind of stuff and you just have to do my grandma said you can train a dog you can train a child or whatever and and you just have to uh you know leave them a little something make them think that you at least a little crazy Every now and then, go in the kitchen, <laughs> take a plate out of the cabinet, and just slam it on the floor and let it shatter and just walk out. You have to do that every blue trauma. moon. Every blue moon. And then to go in your room and slam your door and just sit in there and then crack the door and listen to them quietly sweep up the glass. Let the ass know you're crazy. Just a little bit. You know, these are just, you know, some of those things that I really wanted to, to, to put on your brain and have you thinking about moms and dads out there that right. are in relationships with people that are not the biological f- uh, parents of your kids. Right. Because it's necessary. You know, these kids are, are, are seeing what's going on and they're trying to register it. So yeah. I just want us to be conscious. But the main thing, have the conversation at this as they say in church out of all you're getting mm-hmm. get an understanding hey. that is y'all reach smile in the morning show hey special k got top five up next